You already know. Another reaction video. This time, a bite from North America's only Elapid. Now, we'll talk more about this as it goes on or as it plays, and we're going to discuss some things, okay? But subscribe if you're new. Let's get to this. All right, so I blurred out the faces because they're just kids. But let's get going. Check this out, okay? Look, guys, it caught a snake. It's awesome. Isaiah, what's it called? It's red and black. Uh, friend of Jack. Red and yellow, kill a fellow. So it has red and black, so it's good. All right, so it's a coral snake. Like I said, North America's only elapid. Elapid being the family that has the cobras, the mambas, the short, fixed fangs. So not like the vipers with the long hinge fangs, are only a lapid. And he said, red and black, friend of Jack, red and yellow, kill a fellow. It's a common rhyme with the coral snakes we have here in North America. But we're going to discuss some things. And yeah, but you can see there's red and yellow, but I think he just sees the red and black since they're the bigger bands, not the thin yellow. Red and black, so it's good. So it's good here. <laughs> Dude, make it wrap around your arm. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Oh, let, let, let's go back to where we were doing tricks and I fell. And I hurt myself. Oh, is that bite you? <gasps> so you see, it's a little wiggly, but everything's good so far. That being said, for parents, teach your kids not to mess with animals, especially when they don't know what it is. I grew up loving snakes. Even as a kid, my parents told me, do not touch them. So anytime I saw one in the wild, I got them, and we just looked at it. Um, yeah, these, it's unfortunate situation, but the, what happens, the result, is very fortunate. And we'll talk about that when the bite actually happens. And let's watch when the bite occurs, what causes it. You finally touched one. That's cool. Hold up, guys. Ah! It's so cool! No, let's go back to where we were. Put them on the stick. Oh, feels so cool. I love this. Oh, what are we gonna do? Not with for some reason. Ah, oh, it did it. So you notice it was when he started to grab down on it, and we've seen it before with the copperhead bite when the guy kept trying to pin it, and when he finally grabbed the head, bit him. We've seen it over and over. Snakes in fear for its life has to defend itself. Now what I mentioned about fortunate, it's a dry bite. So this kid didn't get any venom injected. So a lot of times, especially with kids and women, dry bite. And they don't want to waste their venom. It's for prey. So coral snake being in a lapid, very toxic. And But bites are rare. They're very reclusive. Even in areas where there are a lot of them, bites are very rare because they'll try to flee. You see the snake was flopping around trying to trying to break free, trying to get away. Um, so it's just defending itself. It's very unfortunate, and hopefully these kids learned a valuable lesson. But about the rhyme, red and yellow, kill a fellow, red and black, friend of Jack. We're going to take a look at some pictures of ones that fall out of that category. Now, there's many snakes like king snakes and I can't think of the other snake, Scar Scarlet Snake, that have the red and black, red, black, and yellow. Now I'm confusing myself. But they have similar pattern, but it's red, black, yellow instead of red, yellow, black. And, yeah, mimicry. These colorations, so predators will think that it's, that it's a snake that's venomous. It's very amazing. But, yeah, just if you don't know what snake it is, leave it alone. Teach your kids to leave animals alone. So that rhyme, red and black, friend of Jack, red and yellow, venomous fellow, it doesn't hold true anywhere besides North America. When you go to South America, Central America, the coral snakes, it doesn't fall in that category. So that rhyme doesn't work everywhere. These ones that I'm about to show you are all North American snakes. But you can see they have mutation, different pattern. So if you don't know a snake... Just leave it alone. But check this out. Look at this. Red. Just a tiny bit of yellow. 
pretty much no pattern through the mid body. This one might be the same one or different one, but these were all found in the wild. How amazing is this? But just wait, check this out. Black, so aberrant pattern means unusual, deviating from the norm, so mutations. This one's just pretty much black, a little bit of yellow. Another one that's pretty much all black with a little bit of yellow. Some of these might be the same snake, or they're just all different ones that were found. Look at this. How amazing is this? Albino. Look how incredible that looks. That one might be my favorite. Wow. But you can see, these are all found in the wild. All have mutations that pattern. Look at this. Pattern barely visible, the, just a little bit of yellow. So if you don't know what it is, yeah, I feel like some of these are the same. If you don't know what it is, leave it alone. Check this out. Pretty much all black with just that little bit of yellow on the head. This might be grass, or it might be a little bit of yellow. I don't know, but look how beautiful. But yeah, don't know what it is? Leave it alone. I have no experience with coral snakes. I don't even know if I could tell these mutated ones that don't have any pattern apart from a king snake. So what I would do, leave it alone. Even me. If I, but, you know, I have experience, so I'd probably use a hook if I didn't know. But yes, very difficult. Or it's not something smart to go by that rhyme alone. So just leave snakes alone. Teach your kids to leave them alone. And just enjoy them from a distance. That's how simple it is. But it's very fortunate the kid got a dry bite. Snakes can control how much venom they inject or if they inject any at all. Luckily, decided not to. Which, you know, in a defensive bite, a lot of times there will be dry bite. So it's very fortunate for the kid. But yes, leave them alone. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful snakes. Subscribe if you're new. Love y'all. I'll be back soon big shout out to my channel members and if you would like to support click the description there's merch instagram you can become a channel member if you want early access to videos just other ways to support if you'd like love y'all